Hi, Saturday is here again and we're here on Restoration coming to you from La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and talking of La Palm I'd like to say a very big thank you to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel to GTP News Style GTP News Style thank you for this beautiful fabric and to ABS Collection thank you for always working your magic on the GTP News Style fabric I also want to say a very big thank you to Real Plan Estate and as chemist special eyes get the special ice mineral water and special drinks I also like to say a very big thank Thank you to Yaz Washing Powder. Make every washing time the Yaz time. And I bet even the kids who are two years would love to wash. You can also get your Yaz Sanitary Towels, Yaz Sanitary Pad. Ladies, that time of the month, don't be running around looking for the wrong things. Because sometimes, if it's not the right one, you can embarrass yourself in public. So always make sure your sanitary pad is your number one choice. And my most favorite breakfast, Hooch Conflicts. I hope you enjoyed your conflicts. You did? Yeah. So you want more? Yeah. Are you buying? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Which one have you been buying? Choco Flakes or you do it like myself? Or the conflicts? You may, oh, you're so like me. That's why we are family. I want to say a very big thank you to Nancy Black. Nancy, thank you very much for the makeup. And as always, you have Nancy's number down there. So if you want to call her for your weddings, for your parties, your engagements, just take that number and call her. She said if the person is dead, don't call her because she can't make up any dead person. Well, today on Restoration, I'm a little excited because I'm doing something that most of my fans on Instagram have been asking me to do. Anytime I put guess who this week, they send me the name. Guess who this week, they send me the name. So guess what? I've given you that who. Please let's welcome our guest for this week, Martha Ankoma. <laughs> Martha! Now she called um, Shasha Mali. This is the part he should be singing. Mata. Mata Twi. Mata Hello. <laughs> Let's give it up for her. Hi, Tom. Beautiful. So, to you, Mata. Have a seat. Thank you. Mata, a true man now, what do I get in Crawford or Instagram? Oh, Katri, my meaning now. Everybody wants me to talk to you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So, easy, so sure? I hope all my Instagram fans, you're happy because Martha is here today. <laughs> Martha, first one, are your hips real? Stacey, you, just, you, maybe you can touch it. Give I, it a try. No, me, I will touch. Are they real? Okay. They are, right? They are not cushions or ties. So or they that. are, right? Yeah, they, mm -hmm. they look okay. and feel real. <laughs> Stacey, what, you're very funny. What of your tummy? What do you do? Oh, Stacey. Waist it's, trainers, corsets. I go to the gym every day. Apart from Tuesdays, I go to church every Tuesday evening. But I go to the gym from Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Yeah. What do you do at the gym? What do you lift? Nothing. I just I exercise. Want to learn. I just walk. I run. I use the treadmill a lot. I just do bicycle too. That's all. So that's what keeps your abs intact. I'm trying. Are you sure they are intact? Very intact. I, for once, I thought you were doing the whatever trainers or whatever. No, no, Can no. I check that one too? Stacey, let's finish the show, please. <laughs> you see? She was very confident and oh, comfortable Stacey, about... Oh, Stacey, please. I'm so... No, no, let, I'm shy. Cash. No, 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 Stacey, please. Okay, okay. No waist trainers. Please, no waist trainers. It's gym. Stacey, bicycle. but you're looking very good, though. Thank you, darling. Very pretty. I'm trying. You I'm just telling your husband. Martha. Mm hmm What introduced you to Ghanaians? as an actress? Well, I started acting right from Fan World Childhood, Fan World Kida Fest. Mm -hmm. Then we started doing stage productions, TPS at the National Theatre of Ghana. Then I started doing some TV series like St. James Hotel with Revell Films, all that glitters. Yes, make sure and where is your mobile, Sun City and all that. Then been I- around. Yeah, yeah, I've been around, <laughs> yeah. And so I started doing movies. I think my first movie was Total Exchange. I was in a restaurant and a star was passing. I just had to say, you look good. That was all. Oh, that <laughs> so it's actually a walker pass. Oh. You know? Yeah. Then I did Power of the Girls. I did Sin of the Soul. I did Heart of Men. I did Bread of Roses. And I'm still doing movies by the grace of God. Heart of Men got me tripping. Mm -hmm. Like, I had the opportunity to see it even before it was premiered, because my husband does most of the sound score for movies. So if yeah, you're a movie yeah, producer, my true. husband isn't it's doing so the sound true. score, I'm sorry, you're missing out. 
And when I saw the pictures, I was like, hey, why <laughs> not? <laughs> no, I mean, like, what you even saw during the preview and after, we're like, and when they are watching the role, actually, it'd be dangerous. But, and, but there was something about you. You make it look so believable. I mean, have you been a bad girl? Were you a bad girl? Did you have a boyfriend? Were you practicing at home before no, that time? No, I've, I've never been a bad girl. I don't want to say I'm perfect. Okay, because we are all bad. not righteous, actually. Even the Bible says our righteousness is just like a filthy rags in the sight of God mm -hmm. and all that. So I'm not that perfect. I'm not that goody goody. I'm just okay by the grace of God. Yes. But I'm, I, I, let's say I, I love to act. You know, I have the passion for it. I started acting way from childhood. It's something I've really wanted to do all my life, actually. Mm -hmm. And so me playing that role as me being versatile as an actress. You're doing the normal things you wouldn't be able to do on do, a normal day. On a normal day. That's all. So I was just being an actress. So you give it your best. I try to. You can't be a bad girl. So when you're given the role, you play it well. You play it well. That's all. That's the opportunity to actually be a bad girl. Mm -hmm. That's it. Since when you keep talking about Christ, about church, how is your relationship with God like? Is it the normal talk? Oh, I believe in God. I believe in the church. I believe in Jesus. What is your stand with Christianity? Someone just asked me, or oh, someone was actually telling me right now over there that I hear you are not religious, and I told the, and I just told the person, I'm not religious. I'm just a good Christian. Because Christianity is actually not you being religious. It's a way of life. It's a, it's a lifestyle, lifestyle, you know. So I, I wouldn't say I'm actually the no, but the saint. I've I've loved God right from childhood, <gasps> Stacy. I know where I'm coming from. I know where God picked me up from. My cousin is here, Kate. She'll yeah. tell you a she lot about so us. She looks so much like you. Yeah. She can yeah. actually <laughs> go and pose like you and rip people off someone. You Don't know? Do that. <laughs> so, you. so, actually, God has been so good to me, Stacy. So, my, my, when, my, when my dad and my mom actually separated. They did? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. After all these beautiful kids. Anyway, my dad has gone long time laugh. ago. <laughs> yeah. And so my, my mom is such a very good Christian. She's a Pentecostal, mm -hmm. you know. She goes to Edumpa a lot to um, pray over home. there. Yeah. And so she made us start at Sunday school and all that. Mm -hmm. But growing up, I discovered International Central Gospel Church, ICGC. ICGC. So I go to ICGC all the time. And I've actually grown to love God. I've actually understand, or let's say I've understood God very well, you know. It's about my experiences with God, personally. Mm -hmm. And for me, God is everything. Everything I am today, everything I'm going to be, everything that people see or people say about me, oh, she's such a good actress. Oh, she's wonderful. She's pretty. I think she's there. No, it's just the grace of God. That's all. I like that. You, you said you know where you're coming from. Where is Martha really coming from? I am coming from a very good Christian home, like I just said. My mom is a very good Christian. But when my mom and my dad separated, it wasn't easy at all. And so, let's say when I was in the university, you know, it got to a time I had to pay my school fees myself. Because my How mom was this, she was a single parent and she was taking care of us. How many are you? Me and my two brothers, making okay, three. three. Yeah. And so I have to do TV series or maybe do an ad or something to pay my school fees. So if within that semester nothing comes, how um, do you I, manage? By God being so, that's what I'm telling you, God has been so faithful to me, Stacy. Mm -hmm. For me, she knows that God has been good. I remember some time ago, they had to sack my school. Actually, they actually sacked me, I told them. And I was like, yeah, by the way, they crown. We get what we trust you, so I will be in himself. But what if you saw what's going on? And what the cup is so off, it's so bad. And I was like, Jesus, and Tia Bepa, what better my upper moon? I'm going to try some serious beat. Was it all the aggregators or something? And they just called me, they were like, Martha, in TIG's canon, won't you come for your money? I'm like, are you sure? Oh, Martha. And you know what? Stacy, listen, God is such a good God. I tell people, let God know that. You don't have any option apart from him, mm -hmm. and he will prove himself. Make him the ultimate. That's it. And for me, I made God knew that, actually, I have nowhere to go apart from him. So if it wasn't for acting, then maybe he has to provide it. 
and trust and me, with all the TV streets. series and all that, people mm -hmm. were right. I mean, anytime a scriptwriter should write, I mean, I mean, all the episodes, even mm -hmm. though I'm not the lead character, I'm not even a supporting character, but I get to play all the episodes. So and they just call me and I go for my money. I used to pay my school fees. Wow. It got to a time I actually had to. It got to a time I actually had to sell. You know, I had this rich kid in my area. She was my friend anyway. Mm -hmm. And I had to go and blend ice kink. <laughs> she's around, she's been around for a very long time. She knows that. And I remember my friend was like, hey, Martha, who oh, best ice kink? Can we do it? Oh, for, for taxi. <laughs> for ice kink and for taxi. No, for the better. And I'm doing ice kink and taxi. You know, but Stacey, trust me. God is an awesome God. He's been so good to me. He's been extremely good to me. Yeah. The way she's talking about God, she's talking about God like God is her husband. He's everything. So good to I always me. tell my friend, I always tell her, she, she will tell you, she's my cousin. Some time ago, she had some issues in her life and I told her, listen, Kate, let me just talk to God for you. Mm -hmm. And God actually answered her mm -hmm. prayers. Yeah. It's just like we have something in common. My husband will tell me. Madam, I want to buy and meet you. <laughs> so lately, I think I have to be charging him. Don't you think so? Yeah. <laughs> Something little, you know, just for all the knocking on the door of heaven and all of that. Yeah. Start making money out of it. I'm just kidding. Don't do that at home, please. God is a free God. He welcomes everybody just as you are. So when you are trying to go sell ice cake in a taxi, where was your dad? Um. He's a, he was actually married with someone oh. else, yeah. yeah. I want that, but he's dead. He's no more, yeah. So when the stepmom came in? Things actually changed, yeah. Why are always stories about stepmothers being mean? I don't know. But there are some good stepmothers. Yeah, yeah. How unbearable did she make your life? No, I didn't have any issues with her. With her. Honestly, we didn't have any issues with her, but you know, some, sometimes some of them can be very funny. They see you and they just give you all the nice smiles and everything. You go for something, your dad comes and tell you, oh, um, why don't you come back some other time and all that. Call me. Some kind of stories, you know, I wouldn't want to talk about. But like I said, God has been faithful. Yeah. So when you shot up there to be Martha and Kuma still bearing his name, how, how did he feel? Because I'm sure you got your fame before he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, at a point in time, he called me and he said, Martha, I wasn't going to see you. I didn't want to see you. Had you discussed your financial standing with him? No, but... I, I, yeah, yeah, wanted yeah. to be a partaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my, actually, my dad was actually a very nice person before he got married. And even when he got married, he was a very nice person. Mm -hmm. But when that woman comes around, you know... It the, changes. But uh, sometimes in Kwakwafona, you just have to understand them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need people around and all that. So but you're not always just, there, but she is always yeah, there. So you just have to let it go and all that. You do. Yeah. You do. So when he died, because I remember you sending messages all over. Oh, my dad my passed. Yeah. I, I need you to come to my hometown. And you single, or let me say, you prominently played a major role in making sure your father had a very good burial. Yeah. At that point, I mean, were you not thinking like, where's the wife? I mean, she has done all the enjoyment, so why do I have to go through this? It strength? doesn't really matter. What gave you that I think, strength um, and courage? To forgive is divine, to where is human, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we always go to God to ask for forgiveness. So if you can't actually forgive, what are you there for? Okay. I believe so much in God because I'm not a perfect person, like I said. Anytime I'm sure I'm sending, even with the clothes we wear, even with the kind of thoughts that runs through our mind and all that. So I just had to forgive because I, trust me, I still love my father. I still do, you know. I care about him so much. And even in death? I do. So trust me, I, I had to forgive and do what is actually expected of me as a child. <sighs> We're learning forgiveness. And I'm, I'm sure wherever he was, he was so proud. Because you got people traveling all the way to somewhere in the Brongahafu region. No, I didn't make didn't uh, my it. colleagues travel to Brongahafu. We actually had something in Alabaka. A small thing yeah. in Alabaka. But we did the big, the big one at uh, Brongahafu region. Which yeah. town? Nkranza. Nkranza. You're partly yeah. Brong. Yeah. Like myself. My dad is Brong. My mom is a Kriapem. Okay, high five. That's why we <laughs> click. 
<laughs> so after the burial and everything, now you knew daddy was gone. I mean, I'm not going to have to live with the pain and everything. I've let it go. Your life accelerated to another level. How did that process start for you? You just have to move on in life sometimes. Well, I, after my dad's burial and everything, I had to move on. My, I just have to support my mom, you know, and I became very close to God because I realized I don't have anyone apart from God. Even when we went to you know, a half a region, you know, over there, I saw some things I didn't like at all. And so I, I was dating someone then. So I actually told the person that, listen, if we should get married, I will beg you, I'm going to beg you now, not to go anywhere else apart from me. Even if you want to have kids outside, just don't think about it. It should be me. Just me. Just me. Because I realized some things and actually experienced some things I didn't like at all. That's it. But for me in my career, it started way back before actually my dad and all that, those things happened. But I became very focused, very close to God, you know. I started going to, I, I used to go to central normal church, mm -hmm. like Sunday services and um, evening services on Tuesday. But I started adding prayers to my life, like going to Jericho Hour every Thursday to pray from 8 a.m. to 12 o'clock. I remember sometimes where I was praying and someone just looked at me and said, hey, heart of men, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's so funny, you know. So I became very close to God and all that. And trust me, like I told you from the beginning, and Stacy, if you make God know that he's the ultimate and you don't have anywhere to go, he will prove himself. I, I started having roles to play you know people were calling me from nigeria people were calling me all over you know i've shot movies not just in nigeria south africa us uk you know god has been faithful god has been so good and it's just recently that i'm trying so much to be very selective and not to do a lot because when you are growing up you get to learn a lot. And so I think when you know better, you should act better, mm -hmm. you know. So apart from my acting career and being very selective, I would want to do movies that has very, very good moral values, mm -hmm. movies that people could watch with their families, movies that people, especially good Christian movies. So you're not doing Hearts of Men again? Heart of Men was actually not a very bad it wasn't, movie. No, Stacey. I mean the role. The like, role. No, no, no. For me, being a versatile actress. You will. I will. Okay. Trust me. But okay, I have a role for you. No problem. Okay. No pee. If the script is good, you are paying good cash. Stay it's good. I don't have a problem. It's good. <laughs> oh, the cash good element cash. is very important. You know, sometimes you know, people want you to do stuff and they don't want to pay for it. No, I wouldn't just do That's any, the engine yeah, that keeps yeah. you running. I wouldn't just do any stuff. But mm -hmm. for me, the script should be good, like what I'm saying. It must be a movie that people can watch with their family. It yeah. must be a movie that people, when people watch it, they'll say, this movie has a very good moral value. Mm -hmm. It has a very good standard and all that, you know. And these days, I'm trying so much. I wish most people could produce Christian movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should talk to my husband after this. Yeah. Kofi, <laughs> I hope you have that. <laughs> so, so that is what I'm doing these days. Oh, it actually. looks like I'm telling on him a lot today. Eh? Mm. So I think that's what I, I'm doing mm -hmm. these days. And with me opening a salon to our side. Yeah, when are yeah. you fixing my house? Got to come to that. Anytime you're ready. You did Stacey. yours? Yeah, yeah, Martha's place it for me. It's just not far from um, and Tessano. And it's in yeah, okay. um, right opposite Kaldorf, Okay. on the first floor of Manby Good Plaza. Good spot. Okay, so you can all go there. Join we'll the next you recording. Up. We'll give you that unique look that you so need. So what's the name of this hair? Martha's Place. The this hair you've hair. done? Don't worry, when you come to my salon. Oh, you don't want to give it up? <laughs> Why you are all hairstylists hair hair like salon? that? They never want to give their secrets. You go there, they've taken out all the labels. No, Stacey, I don't do that. But just, just walk in there and we'll make you look beautiful. That's all. Mm. Okay. So is that right person here? No, I'm not going out now, Stacey. You're single? Yes, Stacey. Okay, she is single. Yeah. Someone just Very single. Some extremely single.
La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, uniquely golden, traditionally Ghanaian. And so I know what's genuine. That's why I stock and sell only GTP. Original designs, genuine fabrics, and authentic prints. Look out for the new silver sticker on the label. And only buy from accredited GTP dealers like me. GTP has a new silver sticker on all its labels to help ensure you buy only genuine GTP fabrics. Scratch to reveal a 12-digit code. Text to 1393 free on all networks. Receive a message that lets you know if your GTP is genuine. Buy genuine GTP and smile. GTP, still timeless. Your friend could feel child. As a dancer, as a boy, I didn't do an amber. But you know, me will fill a mouth. Obey to my class, I say, I work as well. Dodua, I'm a summer, anatema. For as low as 2,000 Ghana City spec. Yes, 2,000 Ghana City spec. Found my true forces here. Nefre 0272 89 89 88. And now 0272 89 89 89. Omo omo to anye from real plan estates. Nipa bebre atobi. Krata da so dada. Mansoon bi eni mo. Real plan estates in Sase. Asase papa. Nebo wada fo. Ha. Today is my baby's party. Ah, wo fe fe chi. We could kind of big surprise. We a special drink. We don't cry. We don't chia. Then, chi mi di wo fight in that city. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Surprise! Bebe, I brought you special drink. Cola, ginger, and apple. All for this party. That is what everybody is drinking here. Oh, how? That's a special drink, dear. And no one here deserves a visitor, Sophie. She boys boy, dear. She has a special drink. No, and no one here anymore. Come to say, special drink. And no one here in the air. The all new special drink comes in different flavors. Special orange, special ginger, special apple, and special cola. Special drink, naturally tasty. You said you're with someone. I would want to ask because you used it in the past, I should assume you're normal. Mm -hmm. Would you say the roles you played 
during your time of courtship contributed to the breakup or you just no, had a mutual no, not understanding? At not at all, not at all. I, we, we actually broke up not because of me being an actress or mm -hmm. the roles I was playing or anything. Mm -hmm. No, we actually broke up because we just had to break up, that's all. Hey, you can wake up and just want to break up. Because sometimes, Stacey, you go it, out with people and you realize it's not working. You realize they're not even worth your time. And you, you did you hear my cousin? She said, certainly. <laughs> oh, you have a confession? <laughs> and, okay. and so you, you just realize, listen, this person is not for me. God has something good for me. For and me. if I should just be patient, a little bit patient, I can get hold of that thing. That right That's person. all. Yeah. So is that right person here? No, I'm not going out now, Stacey. You're single? Yes, Stacey. Okay, she is single. Yeah. Someone just Very single. Some extremely mm -hmm. single. Yeah. Plans of settling soon if i should find someone good from god okay so should i be a marketer no problem for 10 percent oh please stacy you can't go around bargaining for me oh no i have to because the stakes are high <laughs> <laughs> no seriously nobody can stacey. just come and take you like that don't you agree yeah. oh yes. stacy stop that 10%. We'll, we'll, we'll pray about it i mean as for that me my husband says it to me when i pray god listens <laughs> I can get you one tomorrow. No, this is I <laughs> for ten percent. Oh, thank you. Please don't try. <laughs> Just kidding. But I know in God's time, He would always bring the right person. Yeah. And when He is around, you feel good. Yeah. You don't try too much. Everything is like perfect. Yeah. So when you begin to try in a relationship, then you know, Charlie, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. So I think you made a very right move to move on. Yeah. So now that you've moved on, your salon happening, everything happening for you. How does it make you feel? How does your mom feel? Your family? Because your cousin, if you were some tro tro she wouldn't have followed, followed me here. Yeah. Followed you. So, so oh, she's warning me. My Come my on. mom. <laughs> my mom never wanted me to start acting mm -hmm. way back, but growing up and she realizing that whatever I'm doing now has actually helped or supported us in general in our family. She's very proud of me now. She tells people, oh, you need me, Bano. Me, Bano, my thank you, mommy. And then the same person who didn't want you to act. You know, so she, she's very happy about it and all that. My siblings are very proud of me. Kate has been a sweet cousin. You know, she's Always been very supportive you. and all that. I mean, people like you, Stacey, you've been calling me, you've been checking up on me, you've been texting me, you know. And Flash my it. fans, too. I guess they love me and they keep showing mm -hmm. me love. And so, Stacey, uh, let's, let's put that aside. Apart from that, it's, it's just the grace of God. For me, the grace of God has actually carried me through. I say the grace because grace is undeserved favor that we actually always get, or it's always, we, all, we actually draw, always draw from God or something, you know? Mm -hmm. And so God's grace has always been available to me, anytime, any day, everywhere. Some, sometimes, I remember when I actually took the decision that I'm not going to shoot any movie at all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do movies with good moral values and all that. Trust me, Stacey, it wasn't easy. Because mm -hmm. you losing scripts means you're losing money. Mm -hmm. and, and people, business. and most of them will tell you that, trust me, mother, if you're not doing, someone will actually, and it's oh, true. Yeah. The next thing you realize, and take less. they are doing it and all that. But God has been faithful. The good jobs are coming now, and I thank God for it. Since that decision, how many movies have you shot? So I hear someone say Tatali. <laughs> but that is for um, Stacey. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's up to 100. No. I, I mm -hmm. don't think it's up to 100. But I've done quite a number of movies. Yeah. Wow. That means your bank account is quite fat. Oh, Stacey. By the grace of God. <laughs> You, you keep wishing and praying to God for a lot of things. And if you should, I, I, I would, I'm just playing the devil's advocate here. If you should get married to a guy who has kids already, what kind of stepmother will you be? I'll be the sweetest stepmom. I don't think I'll even add step. I'll be the sweetest mom because I love kids, you know. I don't need to tell you I have a good heart, but I'm sure you know it already, mm -hmm. Stacy. Yeah, I'm taking care of people already when I don't even have one myself. Yeah, and know that just recently, I organized something for kids for autism. I heard you even came there to help. Yeah. The woman told yeah. me last year, yeah. I organized by buying them food stuff and everything for a party, just this Easter too, because me being the face of Vitamic Viora, 
we act we 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 actually went there to help them with staffs and we organized the work. Vital milk should bring some vital milk. Yeah, they have to come pay me. Oh, Stacey, don't worry, they will. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you drink vital milk, by Rara. It will make it? your skin look beautiful, just Is like it? me. Is it? And so we organized the work for them and everything. <laughs> and, Stacey, <laughs> and when I went there, the woman was also talking about you and all that. Yeah. And apart from that, too, I have like three kids I'm taking care of. Oh, just beautiful. for Yeah, so it's, it's, I will, I'm sure I'll be a wonderful mom. Yeah. Now, I, I think that being a mother is not when you birth children. Some mothers are not mothers, trust it's me. True. Someone could be your mother and you wouldn't even want to know, you wouldn't even want to see that person because they what? don't have any traits yeah. of being a mother. I'm sure the autism woman told you that most of the parents actually come there come to drop to their, kids their kids there. around 6 or 5 and 4 a.m. and yeah. they pick them up around 12 p.m. or something, 12 a.m. or mm -hmm. something. And that is so awful because they don't even want people to know that they have such kids. See, so you know. to be a good mother, I think is a spiritual. Yeah. If you're not spiritual, and I'm, I don't mean bad spirit, good spirit, you can't be a mother. I, I know people who give birth to their kids and they live like rivals. <laughs> okay. And you ask yourself, I mean, what kind of is mother is Is she really is your mom? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of cases all over. I, I, there is a case that I, um, the lady said, the mother actually went to the husband to ask, now, oh, are you a cradle now? Who are you? Who are you? I mean, wow. that's somebody's mother. So I always say, as a people you meet along the way yeah. who take you, and irrespective of where they got you from, treat yeah. you like their own, own yeah. pray for you. And every good mother prays for their kids. Yeah. They pray for you, they pray with you, and shoot you to the level you're supposed to be. So yeah. if you're a mother and you're not doing any of this, I'm sorry, you failed. Yeah. And most of the time, most irresponsible mothers would always use the clause, oh, the Bible says you should honor your father yeah. and mother. Yeah. And they always forget there is a verse two, <laughs> which also has a responsibility for parents. Yeah. So if you want that child to honor you, if you want that child to treat you like you ought to, then treat that child well. So, I mean, how do you give birth and just dump the child in some sure woman told you a lot about it when you went I, there. Because she told me home, you were actually, yeah. I came home and I was like, wow. This is what actually Wow, goes I on. mean, and it's a case we'll be treating on this show. Because okay. what they go through with the autistic kids, it's That's incredible. Because they are, they are not sick. They are just a special case that needs special attention. So, if you don't have that time, you can't be a mother to such a child. Yeah. So I think mothers should really start behaving acting, like mothers and thinking like mothers. Because me, if you're a mother and you don't have any of this, I'm sorry. You, you don't get my respect. Even if you're my mother, I won't give you that respect. So That's all mothers a good one, sit up. Things. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Mother. Yes, Daisy. I've heard something. People said you don't want to get married. This is not what I am saying. <laughs> this is what people are saying. No, you know, sometimes, like, because I pray a lot, sometimes mm -hmm. I get the Holy Spirit dropping points. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But since I invited you, I've just been trying to find out what people want to know. Okay. People said you don't want to get married. Are you having plans of being a nun or something? But do you think I don't want to get married, Stacey? I want to know. It's what people think. What yeah, I because I just told you I was actually going out with someone and... That was before. Maybe yeah. he hurt you so bad. Oh, did Stacey. he hurt you? He did, but I, I, it's gone already. Were I you broken-hearted? I was. <laughs> did but he, it's gone. Did he abuse you? No. Did he cheat on you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to cheat on my dog, come on. <laughs> Oh, Stacey, you're no, so no, funny. No, now that the man in the studio, come on. Oh. Who would want to cheat on this lovely lady? <laughs> Stacey, you're so funny. <laughs> look, look at them. Someone is already in love with you. He oh, wants to marry you. Stacey, yeah. let's move on. No, but I want him to get a little richer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and so, Stacey, it, it's, I really want to get married. That's the truth. How soon? If God is bringing me the kind of man, because the Bible says we should ask. That's what was said in Matthew, that mm -hmm. because you've not asked in my name, that's why your word no. has not been made complete. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking God for something, and if he's bringing that person into my life, 
I will just get married to that. It's person. not just about asking. When Pascaline came here, she said something. She said, <laughs> I be was specific. Or... Because you can't just, that's why, I'm, that's why I just said, Stacey. Okay, specific. You have to ask. So you want me to say it? Yeah, I mean there are suitors out there. Someone oh, might have they can't pretend. <laughs> no, we, we will screen them spiritually. Okay, they will actually come to you, right? I'm, I'm, I'm. Don't worry, I'll tell I'm you. The judge. So I get to audition them. They go to stage two, stage one, Three, stage four. Don't worry. It's, it's like don't worry, Stacey, I'll tell you. It will be a reality show. Husband for Martha. Oh please. <laughs> Martha, it wouldn't be bad. Stacey, Stacey, we'll talk about that behind the scenes. Oh, but I mean, we're, we're, your fans, this is what your fans want. But to my be. fans, I, I really want to get married. So I'll be getting married okay, very so soon, by the way. Okay, so tall, short, long, flat. Does it really matter? Rich. <laughs> no, we are trying to be specific. It's going to be my prayer topic. Martha, if by November someone does not propose to you, I'll have issues with God. Oh, do you know November is my birthday too? Is it? So am I prophesying? Yes. Okay, Martha. Be specific. Oh. When that proposal comes and you put it on Instagram first, Martha, I have issues with hey, you. Hey, you have to come here hey. and show it off. <laughs> if I see it on Instagram. Oh, Stacey, you're making me laugh. <laughs> no, Martha. Be, be more specific. Tall, oh, Stacey, short. it's not about being tall or... I always tell God I would love to get married to someone who loves God. I wouldn't say God-fearing because everybody fears God. Mm -hmm. Everybody, get me right. Everybody fears God. Obi Korea and their crowd, so when you're a bomb pie, and I'm a boy, Obi Korea, but you're so young. They are so wrong, and they are saying, Ah, they can't be here. I swear by God, I didn't do it. And they really did it. Everybody fears God. So I want to get married to a man who loves God, who is kind hearted, who will make me, who will actually say, who is hard working, very patient, who would say, Martha, I know you are going to church, and I wouldn't tell you to stay at home and cook for me because you know I'm going to give what's supposed to do to God to God. You know, I love, I would want to get married to a man who will un understand me and the kind of job I'm doing. Because I really want to take this acting career very far. I really want to be in Hollywood movies. You, you don't plan on stopping soon? Not at all. So it has to be understanding so far as your career is concerned. It's concerned, you know. Someone who is ready to be a father, a responsible father. That's all. Someone who is not going to bring side kids. Hmm. But if he brings them, you still work on them. No, I'll still wait. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get out of my marriage because you came with sight. I'll take them and take care of them. That's my duty as a mother. So what, what would ever make you leave your husband if you should get married? <clears throat> I don't think he should abuse me, no, because I wouldn't know what he would do next. Maybe that would make me. If a man abuses you? Maybe, maybe. You work out. Maybe. Because I, I, I don't, maybe he would just end my life for me. I don't know. We, we can't find you and you're dead. And it's not possible, so... If I should find a man, if if I should find a man like that, maybe I would just have to. I don't Let know. Him go. Seek advice, counseling, first, second, third. If it's not working, you do that. They they change for a while, then they do it. And sometimes it's not just physical abuse; it's verbal abuse. A man can just <coughs> say something, and you feel like hitting your head to the wall. But Stacey, even that, sometimes you can't work on it. Mm -hmm. It's better than physical abuse. Let's be sincere, because you don't know what is going to do next. Next. So I don't think I can take that like one. Like the Lady Joyce we interviewed last. I, mean. I, I was telling one of your guys that I just couldn't stand it. Anytime I, I hear things like that or I see such things, I, I, I feel so bad about people treating most women in such manners because mm -hmm. there's a lady who has like three kids and you've just left the kids for her. What is she going to do with the kids? And after a while, you come back to say, the kids are if your kids. Careful, and trust me, the kids will definitely go back to their parents. Yeah. They'll go back Blood to their father. Blood is thicker than water. And you lose out. So I don't think I'll walk out of my marriage if anything should happen apart from you abusing me. Okay. So playing nude roles, has it ever had any bad publicity on you? I, I would say I've not done much of that apart from Heart of Men. If you you have watched a Heart of Men, I have. Watched Most people have Heart actually of watched Men Heart and of another Men. one. Which one? I've forgotten the title. Where you were, I think you were Majid's girlfriend, and Majid had another mm. woman. It was a very tricky. That was Heart of Men. No, Heart of Men had Yvonne Nelson. I know Heart of Men very well. We didn't the, work on that. Apart from Heart of Men, I haven't done anything. Yeah. But Heart of Men, Stacey, let's be sincere. If you really watched Heart of Men, I only showed my back. <laughs> 
Let's be sincere. <laughs> and so when Did people... I tell on her, there was a part where you jumped on the guy. And <laughs> I'm sorry. It's where she sat on the person. And it looked so real. But when she got up, she had, um, was it a black leggings? <laughs> And that address. I, I think that was Bed of Roses. That was that's John Bed of Dumelo, Roses. John Dumelo. Yeah, I think that's yeah, the movie. Yeah, Be that Bed of Roses. That was a good movie too. Yeah, Bed of very Roses. Very good, yeah. very believable. Yeah, yeah. I just started and, and, to and so, I said, look at this girl, who is she fooling? <laughs> <laughs> and so they are just roles that I play. If, if you actually get to understand the movie industry mm -hmm. or whatever we are doing in our showbiz industry, mm -hmm. you know that nothing goes on. We are here shooting right now. And we have like six. more than seven, eight, ten, mm -hmm. twenty people working around the set. And so if you think something happens, nothing really happens, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. But it depends on you as a person, mm -hmm. what you do afterwards. Are you leading the kind of life you actually played? Have you ever fallen in love with anybody on set from the roles you play? I mean, no, this is... no. Never? Never. No chemistry? Nothing, nothing. I just act with them and I go away. As soon as the director says cut, that's it for me. I don't feel anything for them again. I see them as my brothers. I act a lot with Majid and David most of the time. I'm on set with those two people. I was going to ask people. you, what is it with you and David? Because even offset, you guys are very close. David is like a brother to me. You know he's married. I know. Yeah. But I'm just asking. It's what people want to know. We are just friends. We are just good friends. David goes to Royal House. It's not far from ICG. So sometimes when we're having programs like Greater Works, I'm sure you've heard of Greater Works, yeah. Destiny Summits. He comes to my church sometimes. So I go to their church. They have those 21 days, whatever, fasting. They start from the beginning of the year and all that. And so we, we just click. That's all. I, I hate to say this, but the guys in the industries, uh, in my industry, I'm very close to them then. The so girls, you, you don't see you know. yourself getting hooked to any of them? No, no. Never say never. Sweetheart, I wouldn't lie to you because I think they are my brothers. I see them as my brothers. Nothing really moves me, you know, and all that. I really like them, but I don't think... No, I doubt, Stacy. You see maybe, my mouth is maybe, still open. Stacy, maybe it's because I've been working with them. It's like your classmates. Do you see yourself falling in love with your classmates? I had one of my classmates got married to another one, and I was like, I mean, how possible? You see, you are saying how you, possible. You never know. But that, so I'm that's just telling that, you, you never know. know. Because I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you I, never I know. know. Never say I, never. I don't, I don't feel anything. I just see them as my brothers. Okay, David, so, Majid. Yeah, David them. Majid, they're out. They're all married. Maybe John DeMello. Maybe all James Gardner. Hmm. Give me some of the names. Nothing you should interview them. They will tell you about me. They will tell you, Mata, do I have a over two for sa. No, I'm just trying to find out. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Let, me, let me put you here. Be um, all the single guys in the industry, if you had to pick a husband figure from any, who will it be? I'm not saying that person is your husband. Who will it be? Stacy, I don't know for now. Because we just work and we go our and separate ways. On top ways. of your head, you know, you meet people Stacey. like how you meet David and you have a chemistry. Stacey, because let you know me be he sincere with God. you. Martha, why are you not trying to you, let you me know what? You know what? Listen, don't push me. <laughs> I'm Stacey, not you know why? You know why? Listen, let me tell you something, Stacy. I just work with them. We are not that close. So you don't they are my know. colleagues. I don't know them that much. Okay. Are you getting it? Okay. Yes. That's it. I see, I see them. They are like, hey, Martha, you do share home. You see, hey, whoa, whoa. That's all. I, I told you I was in Jericho praying one day, and a lady just said, hey, heart of me, <laughs> you it know? awkward, right? You know, I see. When you're busy praying. Someone actually walked up to me and said, Mata, dear, we are you. I'm not acting now. I'm not acting now. I'm not acting as for my MD, it stays where I place it. Mine really fits well. You know I don't play with my pencil skirts. <laughs> 
most important is that it's comfortable. It never shifts. Right. Because I've got a Yas Comfort. Ultra thin, wide wings, and leak guards. Yas sanitary pads provide comfort and absolute protection. We've got Yas protection. Yas sanitary pads. No shift, no leak. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, uniquely golden, traditionally Ghanaian. I've been dealing in fabrics for many years, and so I know what's genuine. That's why I stock and sell only GTP. Original designs, genuine fabrics, and authentic prints. Look out for the new silver sticker on the label and only buy from accredited GTP dealers like me. GTP has a new silver sticker on all its labels to help ensure you buy only genuine GTP fabrics. Scratch to reveal a 12-digit code. Text to 1393 free on all networks. Receive a message that lets you know if your GTP is genuine. Buy genuine GTP and smile. GTP, still timeless. So has playing all those roles in court had an effect on your, Christ, um, your Christian life? I, I told you I was in Jericho praying one day and a lady just said, hey, heart of men, umba <laughs> hasi. You know, awkward, right? You know, I see. When you're busy praying. Someone actually walked up to me and said, Mata, dear, we had you. I'm not acting now. I'm not acting now. I'm not acting now. I see the rest are not Christians. Mm. I, are you getting the point? So I wonder, and sometimes I think I, when anytime I think of, I'm like, these people has it, some, they do have some funny feelings and ideas about us. But trust me, we are all humans, you know, and we try to do our best, Stacy. Like I said, it's just the grace of God. So you don't have to sit somewhere and judge me because of my work. Actually, I don't know what you are doing in your Canada. Yeah. If I should find out, maybe I don't know what you do, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just my job is what I do for a living, and I think you should appreciate it because you buy it and watch it and it makes you happy. It entails you. So November, I've started working on it. As we've been talking, I've been working on it. <laughs> what, what do you normally have for breakfast? Stacey, I really want to lose weight because you look so beautiful and I want to look like you. Okay, so let me tell okay, you what Stacey. I do. I eat conflicts, not just any conflicts. Huge conflicts. How did you know? Oh, you mentioned it. I've been watching your show. Okay. Stacey. She's been watching. So should I, I give you some? I watch you every day. Should I give you some? That'll be nice. After that, you have to buy. You taking me to where? After that, you have to buy. I was saying you, you, you say after that, I'll go to Dubai. <laughs> I hate <had> Dubai. <laughs> You want to go to Dubai? Yes, Stacey. You go to Dubai after the wedding. Oh, Stacey. That's your nice yes. Oh, haven't you been told? Oh, yes. We can really get, Martha, we can really get generous on this show. You can go to Dubai, Have you but watching it comes your to a condition. <laughs> yes. Oh, Stacey, if Martha please. gets the person to say yes, honeymoon is on us. Your husband said, mm. Oh, is Stacey. it a bad deal? Stacey. Dubai is just here. 
Stacy, you, you know what? Emirates is no stress. Stacy, as for a husband, God is actually preparing something. I don't have a He's problem. working on something That's sweet. That's is ready. The hotel something is ready. Something palatable. Hey, something someone. delicious. Hey, she's and I'm talking sure, as if she has someone. Oh, Stacey. Martha is talking as if she has someone. <laughs> Martha, what, what day was he born? I don't have, <laughs> Stacy. I don't have anyone. <laughs> Martha, you're incredible. I, I have something for you. Okay. When you came, you said you love what I'm wearing. It's so beautiful. let me tell you, I'm wearing a GTP new style fabric, and Ophelia, you can call her Abna Sewa, of ABS collection. She made it. Put I it guess. together, always. Wow. So I'm going to give you a GTP new style fabric. Oh, thank you. So you can you. take to Ophelia to make the same style. Thank Martha, you. if you don't sew this style, I'll come for my fabric. Matty. <laughs> Sweetie, can you help me with the fabric? Thank you. And I, I'm very generous. I'll give you my... I wanted to give you something, but because you're not getting married, I don't know how to give it to you. Should I give it to her? Give it to me, Stacy. Oh, oh, Kofi, please. Stacy, give it to me. Hey. <laughs> hey. Stacy, fam, me. Hey. I'm thinking of. Please. Martha. And to my papa, pa. Ah, obesima. If, oh, uh, this is beautiful. Yes, Martha. So you're going to have your GTP new oh, style thank fabric. Thank you. And the three will put so it together much. for you. Where is that huge conflict? I'm going to set CCTVs in her house. If she doesn't eat it in the morning, she's in trouble. Can you give Martha? Okay, this is what I'll give you. I'll give you huge conflicts. You can have the GTP carrier bag. I'll give you your sanitary pad. Mm -hmm. At that time of the month, mm -hmm. you need to be. On point. No you. checking around to see if, if you're saying anything. <laughs> if you're wearing white, oh, Charlie, can you check for me? Like, no, be no, no drama. <laughs> Just walk in all the confidence, especially when you're on set. Yeah. You get people checking my back for me and all of that. <laughs> okay, then I'll get you. Yes, toothpaste. Oh, give it up for Stacy. Yeah. Should, should I, I still give her the ultimate? Yeah, you should, please. I want to know. Okay. Since she's still searching, and she needs more room to think. Okay, I'll give it to her. And you better pray and get results, cause I'll be praying too. I Martha, hear you, Stacy. November, that ring should be on it. Amen, oh. Amen. <laughs> we'll get higher amen. So by kind Cathy La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, mm -hmm. you get a weekend stay, and I'm even wondering oh, who you're coming with. I'll come with Kate. <laughs> I'm coming Kate, with Kate. Stacey, you know what? Stacey, you know what? We've she been through a lot. Yes. She's still broken her No, no, she's going out now. But we've been through a hey, lot. You found someone. Kate is not searching. Okay. I think that's cool. So, Martha, oh. you're coming with Kate. Yeah. Okay. And make sure you do the selfies and you, you tag La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. They're on Instagram. You can follow La Palm Royal Beach Hotel on Instagram at La Palm Royal Beach Hotel is one word. And those of you who keep complaining about Doomsaw, please, we found a way for you. Just go to your Google Play Store, download Stream GH. It's not one word. Stream space GH. Go to TV shows and you have restoration, all the episodes. I want to say a very big thank you to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Special Eyes, <laughs> Yas Washing Powder, Martha. Yas washing powder, yas sanitary pad, huge conflicts that Martha is going to begin to eat in her house every day. Yas sanitary pad, which she will use at that time of the month from today, because I'll make sure I supply her. You have <laughs> month one, I'll make sure I give you. How many months do we have left in this year? So I owe you like eight or mm -hmm. nine. Okay, I'll make sure you have it. So every time will be a yas time for what you. What <laughs> November, <laughs> Oh, Stacy, stop saying this. <laughs> Trust me, people are going to talk about it. Oh. Let them talk. We're looking. It's husband for Martha or looking for a husband for Martha. Which one should we take? Stacy, but I'm not desperate for it. No, you're not. I'm, I'm helping. All. You know, I want, I want to come to your wedding. I actually Stacey, have my dress. relax. God knows what he's doing. Oh, Martha. God is in control. I believe so much in that. Yes, but me, I'm becoming a mother who gets worried when her daughter is 25. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> but I know it's coming very soon. I also want to say a very big thank you to GTP New Style who have given Martha 
this beautiful GTP fabric. It's a special ice. I should give you special ice and special drinks. But don't behave like Calibos, please. When you drink it. I need you to be calm. Don't get hyper like Calibos. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to Special Eyes. Thank you to Real Plan Estate. Martha, get a land with Real Plan Estate. I was thinking dash me a land free. for free. I could work a discount for you. Oh, that could Just give come. it out for free. Martha, all that could come. When I <laughs> listen to your husband. Is it possible? Is it possible she should get married? We can work it out. <laughs> now you have Dubai, you have land. You have to choose one. Okay. So I want to say a very big thank you to all of our wonderful sponsors, to Nancy Black. Thank you very much for our makeup. Yeah. yeah Nancy Glam to your pa, Charlie. Mm -hmm. And I want to say a very big thank you to Jemima of Roji Hair Sakaman. Thank you, Jemima, for rocking my natural hair so beautifully. Thank you so much. And I want to say a very big thank you to ABS Collection. You always rock. It has been wonderful, and I am still waiting to see Martha and Comer's wedding invitation. Mm. And please Crazy. stay tuned for the date because from now we are starting our prayers and we are going to ask God. And please do remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So God is going to strengthen us for this. We'll see you same time next week. Bye. <laughs>